guys do you know you might be causing serious harm to your skin without even knowing it i'll be talking on the dangerous skincare trends that need to die this year skincare trends come and go but there are some skincare trends that we imbibe into our daily skincare routine that are harmful to our skin so i rounded up some dangerous skincare trends on tiktok facebook and every other social media which are harmful to our skin let's get right into the video the first dangerous skincare trend that needs to die is the use of physical exfoliants or physical scrubs. These physical scrubs cause micro tears. The main function of your epidermis is to serve as a waterproof barrier from pathogens, viruses, and bacteria. But once you have micro tears, these bacteria and other pathogens find it easy to get into the skin, thereby causing more irritation, blotchiness, redness in your skin. Another issue is that you might be applying more pressure on this part of your body and less pressure on the other part, thereby causing uneven exfoliation on your skin. Dangerous skincare trend that you should avoid this year is the use of face wipes. The use of face wipe itself is not the problem, but the thing is that it gives you a false sense of security. After your makeup, after the day, and you want to clean up your makeup, you use face wipes. Sometimes you feel like you've cleaned everything, everything is gone. But the thing is that face wipe does not remove your dirt on the face completely. Face wipes is not as effective as a cleanser. So it is advised that if you use a face wipe you should follow it up with a cleanser and that is the only way you can be very sure that you've got all the makeup or all the dirt from your face next one is the charcoal peel off mask i know you must have seen in some videos where they wear something like a, a black mask and then they begin to strip it off their face it's not good because as you're peeling it off you are stripping some skin from your face thereby breaking the barrier of your skin allowing pathogens to rest on them and cause more issues most times when you see them peel off this mask they feel a little kind of pain as they're peeling it off remember if it's painful it's not good i would advise you use retinol or any form of acidic cleanser glycolic acid salicylic acid by a toner in your skincare routine and it's going to do the job very well the next one is the exfoliating gloves now that we've learned about exfoliating the face do you think the body also needs exfoliation well yes it does but it's also applicable to the way you treat your face your face is more delicate we know but also the skin in your body is also as delicate it is advised that if you're using the exfoliating gloves, you do it once a week or once a month. This is because gloves are so rough and coarse on the skin that it could also cause the same micro tears that can occur on your face when you use harsh pressure on them, leading to more skin irritation. Use salicylic acid creams on your body to exfoliate if at all you must use an exfoliating glove it should be at least once a month or once a week depending on how your skin is. the next one is the galvanic face massager you must have seen people using this product on tiktok facebook telling you that this helps to contour the face to give you a slimmer and oval looking Face. They claim that it helps to improve lymphatic drainage, which would shrink your jaw lines and tighten your skin and give you a facelift. This material costs $1. Anyways, it's just a myth because for you to get a facelift, you must go for a surgical procedure. So, there are some face exercises you could do to maintain your facial muscles. As you get older, 
your face droops not only because of the skin but because of the displacement of fat on your face so no matter how many times you use this galvanic face massager it doesn't change anything unless you go through surgical procedure so the last but very important is forgetting to use a sunscreen it might be easy to forget using sunscreen sometimes but on the long run it has effects on your skin which is bad because when you don't use sunscreens it causes uv damages on your skin cells thereby causing hyperpigmentation increasing the rate of aging you have wrinkles fine lines it could actually lead to severe cases like skin cancer also remember to apply sunscreen in those forgotten areas of the body like the eyelids the ears the neck region sunscreen is something you can't do without. if you like this video please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because i post videos on skincare every week let me know your thoughts in the comments below also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up have a lovely week ahead <laughs>